hello guys i welcome you all to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to start this problem which says that a two stage rocket is fired vertically from rest at s equals to 0 with the acceleration is shown after 30 seconds the first stage a burns out and the second stage b ignites plot the vt and st graphs which describes the motion of the second stage for uh, 0 to 60 seconds so now the motion happens in two time intervals that is from 0 to 30 and then from 30 to 60 so let's say that when t is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 30 seconds we are given the acceleration and it is said that at t equals to 0 at t equals to 0 the initial velocity is equal to 0 right it is said that uh, when a two stage rocket is fired vertically from rest at s equals to 0 so now when s is equal to 0 uh, this is not t equals to 0 when s is equal to 0 uh, v naught is equal to 0 so now um, we are given the acceleration uh, versus time right so now uh, we have to find the the equation of this straight line which represents the acceleration as a function of time so for that we will uh, take an arbitrary point on this line so let's say that we have some point here so let's say that at some point t we have the acceleration value a so for that we will find the slope of this small triangle and then we will find the slope of this large triangle and both the slopes will be equal since the slope of this line remains the same it's a one straight line so we can write that the slope and the slope of the small triangle is the rise divided by the run so now this is the rise the rise is a minus zero so i will write a minus zero divided by the run this is the run which is t minus zero so divided by the run which is t minus zero and this will be equal to the rise of the large triangle so now the rise for the large triangle is 12 minus zero so that is 12 minus zero is 12 divided by the run this is the run which is 30 minus 0 so 30 minus 0 is 30 and similarly on the left hand side we will have a minus 0 is a and t minus 0 is t so from this we can write that a is equal to 12 divided by 30 into t and 12 divided by 30 can be written as 2 divided by 5 if we divide 12 and 30 by 6 so 6 into 2 is 12 and 6 into 5 is 30 so this is 2 divided by 5t so now this is the uh, acceleration as a function of time equation for this particular interval now since we are required to plot the vt graph and st graph so we have to find the velocity as a function of time and then we have to find the s as a function of time so now we know from this that we know that the acceleration is dv by dt equals to 2 divided by 5t and from this if we multiply both side of equation by dt so we will have dv equals to 2 5t dt and then we have to integrate this so 2 divided by 5 is constant and then when when the initial conditions right so this is from 0 to t and v naught is 0 and this is until v so now if we integrate this so this and this will cancel out so we will have v from 0 to v and this will be 2 divided by 5 and the integration of t will be t squared divided by 2 and this is from 0 to t so now this 2 will cancel out we will be left with uh, t square into 1 divided by 5 and now if we put these limits if we put these limits so we will have on the left hand side we will have v minus 0 so v minus 0 is v and this is 1 divided by 5 t square minus 1 divided by 5 into 0 square so this will become 0 so we will be left with v equals to 1 divided by 5 t square so now we have the velocity as a function of time now we can write that the velocity for this interval is 1 divided by 5 t square now let's say if you want to find the velocity when t equals to 30 seconds so the velocity at the end of the first interval that is 30 seconds will be equal to 1 divided by 5 into 
30 squared so 1 divided by 5 and we can say the 30 squared divided by 5 this gives us 180 so now the velocity at 30 seconds is 180 meter per second now to find the s of t graph uh, first let me plot the velocity for this particular interval so now we got the velocity as a second degree curve it's a quadratic equation and the velocity with 30 degree at uh, 30 second is 180 so now let's say that uh, this one box is 200 let's say let's say this is 200 meter per second so 180 will be somewhere here and this represents a quadratic equation and the coefficient of t square is positive so the the graph or the shape of the graph from 0 to 30 second will will be facing like this it will be concave up and one thing i should tell you people that if the graph if this graph is straight line this is the uh, acceleration is the slope of the vt graph right since we know that uh, velocity is uh, acceleration is dv by dt so if this line is straight so then we will have and if this slope is positive then we will the shape of the vt graph will will look like this it will con it will be concave up so let me draw that graph we will have the graph like this so this will be the shape of the graph and it it must end at 180 let's say let's say that the shape of the graph will be like this and this particular point is 180 meter per second now we know that uh, v is ds by dt so i will write that ds by dt is equal to 1 divided by 5 t square and if we multiply both sides of equation by dt so we will have ds equal to 1 divided by 5 t square dt and then we have to integrate this and now the integration will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t and now again if we integrate this so we will have s from 0 to s and the integration of this t square will be 1 divided by 5 t cube divided by 3 and this is from 0 to t so now this will be s minus 0 and this will be 5 into 3 is 15 so let me write it as 1 divided by 15 t cube and now if we put these values this will be 1 divided by 15 t cube minus 1 divided by 15 0 to the power 3 so this will become 0 so we will have 1 divided by 15 t to the power 3 now the s at 30 seconds will be 1 divided by 15 into 30 to the power 3 or we can say that 30 to the power 3 divided by 15 so this is 1800 meters so the rocket travels 1800 meters in the first 30 seconds so let's say that now this one box represent this one box represent 2000 meters so 1800 is somewhere here and again it's a third degree curve and uh, it must be uh, concave up right so uh, the shape of this graph from 0 to 30 will look like this so somewhere here this is 1800 this is 1800 meters now for the second inter interval when t is greater than equal to 30 and less than 60 seconds the acceleration is now constant the acceleration is constant and its value is 24 so let me write that the acceleration is 24 meter per second and now we know that acceleration is dv by dt and this is equal to 24 and if we multiply both sides of equation by dt so dv is 24 dt and now we need to integrate this and now the integration will be from 30 second to t and when t equals to 30 second the velocity is 180 so we will need to integrate this from 180 to v so now if we integrate this this will cancel out we will be we will have v from 180 to v and this will be 24 and this will cancel out 24 t and this is from 30 to t so this will be if we put these limits this will be v minus 180 equals to 24 t minus 24 into 30 so 24 into 30 is 24 into 30 gives us 720 
this is 720 minus 720 and if we bring this uh, minus 180 to the other side of the equation so it will become positive so we will have plus 180 so v will be equal to 24 t and minus 720 plus 180 this gives us minus 540 so minus 540 so now this is the velocity as a function of time for the second interval and now if you want to find the velocity at 60 seconds so the velocity at 60 second will be 24 into 60 minus 540 so 24 into 60 minus 540 this gives us 900 meter per second so now the velocity uh, at 60 second is 900 meter per second and from 30 to 60 second the velocity of the the velocity curve is the straight line so now 900 meter per second so now if this is if this one box is 200 so this is 200 400 600 and 800 and somewhere here is 1000 so 900 will be somewhere here so it's, this point is 900 so this is 900 meter per second and now it's a straight line so we need to join these two points by a straight line like this so this is the velocity as a function of time this is this is vt graph this is vt graph and similarly uh, since we know that the velocity is given this velocity equation is now known we can write that this is uh, ds by dt ds by dt is equal to velocity which is 24 t minus 540 and if we multiply both sides of equation by dt so we will have equation like this and now we need to integrate this so again this integration will be from 30 to t and when t is equal to 30 the distance traveled is 1800 meters so this will be from 1800 to s so now if we integrate this this will cancel out we will have s from 1800 to s and now the integration of this will be 24 t square divided by 2 so 24 divided by 2 is 12 so we will write 12 t square and this is minus 540t and again this is from 30 to t so now if we put these limits we will have s minus 1800 that will be 12t square minus 540t minus that 12t square minus uh, we need to put t equals to 30 so this will be um, 12 into 30 square minus 540 into 30 so this will be uh, 12 into 30 square minus 540 into 30 this gives us minus 5400 so we can write that this is s minus 1800 equals to 12 t square minus 540 t minus 5400 so minus 5400 and now this 1800 on the other side of equation will become positive so we will have plus 1800 on the other side so this is plus 1800 so now uh, minus 5400 sorry this this is this is minus 5400 and if we, if we multiply that minus with this minus sign so this will become positive remember so this is plus 5400 so 5400 plus 1800 gives us 7200 so this is 12 t square minus 540 t plus 7200 now the the distance traveled at 60 seconds will be equal to if we put t equals to 60 so this will be 12 into 60 square minus 540 into 60 plus 7200 so this is 12 into 60 square minus 540 into 60 plus 7200 so this is 18000 now the distance traveled in 60 second is 18000 meters okay let's let's make this one box size 2000 right so let's say let's say this one box represent 4000 then if this is 4000 then uh, we need to shift this graph somewhat below 
if this is 4000 then 1800 will be somewhere here so so then the graph will look like this and then if this is 4000 then this will this is 8000 this is 12000 16000 and this is 20000 so 18000 will be somewhere here so let's put 18000 here so this is 18000 and then this is a second degree curve this is a second degree curve and the coefficient of t square is positive so it must be concave up right so we need to continue this graph like this so this is the s of t graph and this curve is represented by this curve is represented by 12 t square minus 540t plus 7200 and similarly this part of the graph this part of the graph is represented by 1 divided by 15 t cube so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy